Hello, in this tutorial I want to show how can we bring some 2D footage that is looking like it is a 3D in After Effects. So import your footage and I have this example, it's um, bringing it into a new composition, it's uh, some skies and grounds from, uh, it's a footage from Artbeats. And so how can we bring this into the 3D environment? So we create a new camera make this however you like, I uh, choose um, 35 millimeters. bring this up for a moment into the 3D space that we can see it's just a flat plane so switch this off and create a new white solid call this sky and um, apply the effect uh, checker or grid. Grid is even better I think. So we can line up the perspective from the sky. So we see this grid and toggle the 3D mode on and now rotate it about, uh, let's see about, yeah that's okay, 35 degrees or so and now we reposition it, bring it up where the sky should begin. It's uh, for this it's, it's okay I think a little bit more. And now you scale it, scale it along the x axis that is covering the entire screen. So duplicate this and call this ground. So we make this plane mm, that we can project the original footage on it later. So position this two and rotate it. So uh, of course I rotate it in the opposite and reposition it. Bring this down that it's match up the the ground. So it's a little bit too much. I think like this reposition it uh, for this case it's 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 looking good so I even size it up on the x-axis that is covering now we need another one for the for the background so duplicate this again and go to the uh, call it a uh, back and go to the transformation mode and cl click uh, on back so it's fitting the camera and now go to above and we see our three planes so we want to line this all up on one point so bring it to this and this I bring this also to the end point so go to the active camera again now we see we have to resize this layer and we do it and this layer too so press S for size and just scale it up that it's fitting so now switch off the effect and we see just white um, because there's no light in the scene and so you don't have really the feeling of of a 3D environment. If we add a light and we have to add a light because this light will um, shine through the original footage and project this on the layers we, we had orientated in the 3D space. So make a spotlight, uh, intensity 100 and um, yeah like like I have here so a white light so <coughs> now we can see it even more better that it's uh, in the th 3d space so for now we have to put the light on the position of the camera and press P by the camera and mark the position string C for copy and string V for paste it to the light. Now it has the same position as the camera. Now we have to bring this footage also to the position of the light and camera and paste the position there too. So uh, before I forgot you have to switch the 3D toggle on. So bring it again there. So now it's very big 
and you can't see it so bring it just a little bit in front of the camera something like this and size it down yeah, something like this now it's just in front of the uh, camera and of the light uh, looking above we see here is our footage and the camera and the light so <coughs> now switch on the material option of the 2D footage and switch on transmitting light to 100% and on the uh, shadow of only so it's just uh, the projection on the planes and you see because the uh, three white solids are still getting the light they have the uh, perspective uh, look like so we switch these off in the material option select them three together and uh, now yeah, this um, it's um, getting light. Switch it to off. So now we have still uh, the most work done. You can see it's projected on the planes, and we can animate the camera through that. So we getting to the transformation of the camera mm, to uh, three seconds or so. And make keyframes there. Going to the start and just uh, roll in or the camera movement you want. So make like this. Of course, you you can't go too deep into this um, projection because then you will see s uh, pixel or, or the. Um, uh, the it's, it's, uh, the distortion of the projection will be seen by the viewer so we are looking a little bit to the side and up and we line this something like this so uh, it depends what you want to show so we go a little bit more inside and now we have already a nice move in a 2D footage so we will now preview this so looking quite nice it's a little bit harsh when it starts or stops so we can fix this if we select the the starting keyframes and we choose from the keyframe assistant easy ease out and for the other we choose easy ease in so it slow sl slowly starts in the movement and slows down when it stops so we can bring there some stuff in like trees or um, anything else or a green screen footage of an actor so I have made a copy of a cow for that example I prepared a cow in Photoshop before and I bring this into my composition and uh, make it 3d going to the material options so uh, and I uh, switch this off so yeah you, you have to make a color correction it doesn't fit really well and now I'm uh, yeah I'm positioning it in, uh, in the in the scene and I scale it down and I bring it down so yeah, even just before it sinks on the floor it will fit in the scene and now we make a preview again. So that's the result and it uh, does look even better than a normally uh, pan and tilt zoom. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and get be inspired of this. Have a lot of fun. Bye bye.